Hi, I'm Gina, and today I'm going to show you how to make chicken cacciatore with a sweet twist. Alrighty, so what you're going to need for the chicken cacciatore is chicken breast, a couple of eggs because we're going to put the chicken in an egg wash, flour, I'm using a gluten-free flour, but you can use any kind of flour you like, salt and pepper, oregano, parsley, some garlic powder, onions, assorted peppers, I have red and yellow peppers and green and orange, and then a can of whole tomatoes that we're gonna mash up. And for that sweet twist, it's going to be a sweet potato and a shot of wine. So come along, let's prepare the meal. Okay, so what I do first to save time is I kind of saute these um, vegetables while I'm gonna start preparing the chicken. So I just like these to just do their thing while I am preparing the chicken. And the onions, I do them separate. Sometimes I do them all in one pot. Just I just don't have a big skillet right now. So that's what I do. And I let this like saute a little bit. And then what we're gonna do like when this is all done, we're gonna add it all into a casserole dish and throw it in the, in the oven anyway, anyway. So it's gonna always be cooking. So we just saute this. Okay, so as the vegetables are preparing, I'm going to keep preparing the chicken and dipping it in the egg batter as so. And then dipping it in the gluten-free flour, but you can use any flour. I happen to have to use gluten-free flour and I experimented with it and I kind of like it better. So then what we're gonna do is my little trick for the potatoes when I'm done with this. That's gonna be killer. What I do for um, time, because I'm always in a hurry, is I put these in the microwave, so it's a little cheat. So what you do is I rinsed all these, so make sure you rinse your potato, and then we poke holes in them with the fork so the potato has some, you know, room to breathe. Then I wrap them in a paper towel, and then I let the microwave do the work. So I wrap these in a paper towel, and... Like I said, rinse them, but make sure the potato is a little still wet because it needs the steam. And I wrap these up and I put them in the microwave. And then I let the microwave cook them for me. So it's like a little cheap, but um, it really saves time. So I put these in the microwave like so. And I put them on for a baked potato and it does its thing. So as that's cooking, I'm going to prepare the chicken. Okay, so as the potatoes are cheating in the microwave there, we're gonna make the chicken. I just keep flipping the chicken. What I like is to get that golden brown color. It's like nice coating. It keeps the chicken nice and moist inside. We're gonna take it out of this pan and put it in the casserole dish with everything else, with the potatoes, with the peppers, with the tomatoes and the seasoning, and then it's gonna bake in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. But I'm just getting a nice coating on it right now. And now I'm gonna put it on this serving dish and keep cooking more chicken. I make it in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> no, yeah, it's delicious. It's really good and it's good for you because you get your vegetables, your protein, you get a little bit of carb, it's a good carb because it's sweet potato. Um, yeah, it's awesome. And I just took a regular chicken uh dish and then I added the um, sweet potatoes. I thought, wow, that, that, that would be awesome. And that's what I did. And then I added a little bit of wine for a little, you know, flavor, a little pick-me-up. And so I kind of like, it's chicken cacciatore, but I put a Gina twist to it, you know? And that's what I did. I do, I get bored really fast. If I'm not like on stage singing a song or something during a concert, I'm like, I get bored. I'm actually not really bored. I'm just saying I'm bored. I'm bored with the turning chicken. Okay, now I'm gonna get the potatoes out of the oven. Oh, uh, the microwave. <laughs> kind of like an oven. And I'm going to cut them and then place them, kind of line them up in this pan. Um, that's like my little twist on the chicken cacciatore, as I kept saying earlier. So I'm gonna cut a few of these. So I'm going to layer the pan with my sweet potato. 
potato. And here I go, keep cutting. If I'm not cooking or on the road with my job, being a regional sales manager, or seeing in my band, you can find me at the yoga studio at Yoga Works. I take uh, sometimes two to three classes a day, and I'm not kidding. I just love it, I'm addicted. Okay, so now we're just going to smash up some of the whole tomatoes that you have already, um, that we had earlier. Smash those up, and then we're going to add the other ingredients, which is a little bit of oregano. And what you wanna do is just use like maybe two tablespoons of oregano, um, the parsley, and then we're gonna mix this all together. A tablespoon of garlic powder and then we're going to mix this all together like so oh, I wish you guys can smell this it smells delicious okay and then a little bit of pepper and salt and then this delicious dish is going to come all together finally a little bit of salt I might add a little bit more oregano because I just like a lot of oregano. Mix this. And then for the final ingredient, we're going to add a little bit of white wine. It could be any kind of wine as long as it's white. And then for the last step of this sauce, we're going to add a shot of wine. And stir that in there like this. And then we're ready, really ready, to put it all together now and throw it in the oven. All right, so now the final stages. We're just gonna place the chicken onto the sweet potato. Potato, sorry. And add everything and then throw it in the oven. And we are good to go. And I pack it in there. I like to get everything in there. And I'm going to add the peppers and then the sauce and throw it in the oven. And just spread this all around like so. Just make sure it gets on all the chicken. And then we're going to just add the mixture that we made with the shot of wine. And I'm going to actually make sure it's on everything. So move this all around. Like this. Wow, that looks awesome. And now we're gonna put it in the oven. So now the final countdown. And we put this in the oven. And 20 minutes, you're gonna have a delicious meal. Okay, it's done. So let's see. Oh wow, it looks delicious. Okay, let's get this out and prepare lovely chicken cacciatore with sweet potato. Yum. Alrighty.